Hiya, everyone, Panto people. I've been sent some questions and asked to answer them on behalf of the Panto world. So can I have the questions, please? Thank you. There we are. That's the extent of my Panto acting. Let's have a look, see what we've got for the questions inside the magic book today. The question, first question, this is a, a thing interesting, a lot of people are doing this, it's lovely to be asked to do, here we go, do you think Panda has changed in more recent years <laughs> to become more politically correct <laughs> to ensure that it does not offend anybody? Now this question was written for me, if it offends anybody Panto, I couldn't give two hoots. If you are offended by Panto, then you should not leave the house. You should stay in surrounded by your cats, eating your couscous, watching reruns of Bergerac on UK Gold, because you'll probably be offended the minute you open your front door. Panto is set in stone. It's what it is. It's fun. It's banter. People who want to create problems with such an old tradition need really to be taught a lesson that their parents should have taught them just shut up i hope not but i hear that lesser companies are changing the script and the layout of pantos because they're feeling threatened by these nobodies that would create problems about it so do i think pantos jane i would imagine it as but if it was one I was involved in, it wouldn't because the people and the demographic that have the intelligence that I want to play to know that it's just a bit of fun and a bit of banter. And it's just panto and it's great for everybody, the whole family. And if you're creating problems about that, then you need to get your head tested. So I hope that it isn't ever going to change. Question two, if you could appear in Panto with any celebrity living or dead, who would it be? Oh my word. Oh my word. Well, my dad obviously has only ever taken me to Pantos as a kid, but I think he'd love to see me in Panto with, because that's the thing with Panto, isn't it? The really big companies book people that are going to appeal. The dads go with the kids are going. Anyway, they love it. It's all joining in with the kids and the scream, the shouting, the jokes. The kids don't understand wallop. And then, so I think that I would have liked to appear. I would have loved to have appeared in Pants with Les Dawson. I would have loved to have been the comic to his day. Wow. But I would love to appear in a pan over Jim Dawson because I think just the adult stuff he did was brilliant, but I think he's a great director and a great producer of Pantos, and he, I'd love to be with Jim Davison. I'd love to be in Panto with Jim Davison, because he does, you know, that's the only way that you're going to get the family there, but then the, the dads are going to go, we've got to go and see that, but they'll know nothing will offend the, offend the kids, nothing will offend mum or nan, but the dads will be thoroughly entertained. Question three, in storybook, question three, uh, here we go. Prior to this dreadful outbreak of COVID, who wrote these questions? Prior to this dreadful outbreak of COVID-19. It's like, firstly, that's really like it's happened before, but it's just a, this is a dreadful one. We've had a, we've had a lesser one before the COVID. It's been about before, but this dreadful outbreak. Prior to this dreadful outbreak of COVID-19, did you have any plans in place for Panto? And how will this affect you? Well, I did have plans in place for a mega Panto coming somewhere near you. And it will affect me because I won't be doing Panto due to this dreadful outbreak. But I hope that next year, there's only just a minor outbreak of COVID-19, but no, I won't be doing Panto. I, 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 I don't know. The, the government need to pull their socks up and make a decision and give us the clear 
guidelines and the clarification because at the moment you can go out but you can't go out with a mate that lives two doors down but you can go out with someone who lives next door as long as he's got 17 members of his family you can go out as long as it's a Wednesday but it has to be Wednesday on a leap year and if you've met him once before you can go out with him on a Wednesday but otherwise it has to be a weekend if you can't go out on a weekend then you can't meet him but if you can go out on a weekend you meet people two doors down but only if they've got 17 people in the house so it's quite clear but we just need to know where it leaves indoor live entertainment because it is really about the interaction panto and it's about the kids being involved the dads everyone's involved screaming, shouting, everything that at the moment may not or may not be allowed inside. Did you watch Panther as a child? And what were your earliest memories? Do you know this question was really funny. I had to ring my mum and she doesn't remember me at the best of times, let alone what we did when we were kids. But I did go, I went to the Harlow Playhouse because we lived in Bishop Stortford and Harlow Playhouse used to put on a great production. Uh, we didn't not go to Bishop Stortford because he was always you want one in Bishop Stortford. The Harlow Playhouse was the panto. And um, we went there. And the last one that my mum can remember seeing was Gold Lots of Three Bears. And I would assume, because my brother was a bit of a quiet baby, he gets scared of his own shadow. So, But he, we both loved it. And that's that's the last memory I have enforced and, and reminded by my mum, you know. That's amazing, isn't it? Gold Lots and the Three Bears at the Harlow Playhouse. Right, final question, is it? Did you watch, have you worked with anybody? Question five, have you worked with anybody in Panto? Oh, this is good, you see. I apologise, person who wrote this question this is good. Have you ever worked with anyone in Panto that you did not enjoy performing with? Someone just doing it for the money and hating every second. <laughs> that question is, that's setting me up to fail. I could speak for an hour. I don't know, Diane Abbott. <laughs> no, there's one story and you can't speak ill of the people who passed. He was a great talent, but a guy that just didn't like my style of comedy and didn't we didn't gel together was my first ever panto and it's obviously my lasting memory so i always worry about working with stars it, it was a um, guy from on the buses stephen lewis and it was my first panto i was very nervous very very worried about it and it was stephen lewis and but he wasn't doing it for the money because i think i was on more than him but he was, um, he was very, 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 very difficult. And I don't think he liked Christmas very much. And if he'd said on the first day of rehearsals, which is someone's one, isn't it, if they don't like Christmas. If he'd said, look, I'm here for the money, I don't like Christmas, and I hate you all, we would have gone, better play, we know where we stand. But he didn't, he tried, he just was played a manipulation game. Anyway, this is, this is quite deep, isn't it? Well, boys and girls, we hope to be appearing in Panto near by somewhere where you live. In the meantime, that's the end of story time. And all from me, Paul Eastwood. And wishing you all lots of love. And please, as soon as you can, support live entertainment.